Sorry, Jimmy. I found twice as <laughs> Check this out. My trousers, my trousers just ripped when I tried to jump this. Oh, so it's a style, right? Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fashion. It's a Cambridge. It's okay. Cambridge. <laughs> Okay, we arrived in Cambridge now. Just gonna get an Uber into town. I need to pick up my graduation outfit from one of the rental places. Thankfully, it actually stopped raining. We had a look at the weather forecast and it wasn't looking very good. Fingers crossed that it doesn't start raining later. But yeah, it's nice to be back. It feels weird. I haven't been back in a while. Okay, just outside King's now. That's King's College in the background. Probably, to be honest, probably my favorite college in terms of aesthetics. I think out of all the colleges, King's is just it's fit. Yeah, so we're in the centre of Cambridge, gonna pick up my gown. Oh, I'm excited. I've been waiting so long to wear that outfit. Like, as soon as I saw photos of it in back when I was in first year, just couldn't wait wearing that white hood. Okay, behind me, over there, that's Senate House. That's where we'll be graduating later today. Unfortunately, because of COVID restrictions and everything, only the students are actually allowed to go inside of the house. So the parents, as you can see, all the parents and friends have to wait outside. My stuff now, I didn't really know what color size I am, but apparently it should fit me. They like eyeballed my neck and they were like, yeah, should be fine, so fingers crossed. We're staying in this hotel that's kind of part of or adjacent. I'm not quite sure what the hotel's relationship with the college is. But yeah, so we're staying here tonight, really nice room. And we're just gonna uh, quickly order some Chinese takeaway. Actually, the one that I used to always get when I was a student here. And um, yeah, it's time to get changed. And there we go, ready to head out. Okay, just a side note, yeah. This outfit is way too warm. We put on the aircon in the hotel room to the max and I'm sweating. I'm actually kind of glad that it's not a sunny day because normally, you know, these, the ceremony happens in the middle of summer and it's like, it can be boiling hot. So I actually don't know how people normally survive in these outfits. All dressed up now, let's graduate. I just touched the fucking camera because of that transition. Now I have to wipe the camera because I just smudged it, but let's graduate. <laughs> the stars of the show have arrived. Hello. Yo. Yeah. Thanks for graduation. Thank you. So these guys have kindly agreed to help me out filming today because obviously I won't be able to film the whole process. So just making sure that our settings are the same so that the footage is nice and consistent. And yeah, this way I hopefully can actually enjoy myself and not worry about getting good shots because both of these guys are way better at doing this whole videography than I am. So and I look forward to editing that footage. It's going to be a lot of fun.
Check this out. My trousers, my trousers just ripped when I tried to jump this. Oh, so it's a style, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a fashion, it's a Cambridge thing. Cambridge. Okay. <laughs> they explain to us the process like a million times, right? Like this person speaks some Latin and then you bow, and yeah. then you maintain eye contact while bowing. I got too excited and I bowed immediately. So I like had to bow twice and then all the, these like serious old like Cambridge <laughs> people started like laughing at me. Um, but yeah, got, got my stuff now, which is great. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tam and that, some of yeah. them are still inside, but they're starting to come over here. I want people to come here because this is the best, oh, best image, yeah, you know, right. best background. Sure. Um, yeah. But yeah, let me, let me grab some people and we'll get some fun. How are you guys feeling? How was that? Uh, oh, I did, yeah. I was so, <laughs> so surreal. Did you guys fuck it up as well? I bowed a bit early as well. So did Yambu. So yeah. The not... master made me laugh. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I, and I honestly, I was like smirking at her when we were Yeah, I was, also, I was like grinning. I was like... Oh yeah, the whole crowd was creasing because I like yeah. fully committed to the first bow before yeah. she started speaking. Well, the, the problem is, is Max went before me and Max did a proper long... Oh, like, like a... And then it made me laugh. <laughs> what do you think of the ceremony? How yeah, it? unreal. I fucked unreal. mine. I bowed twice, so I like did it before she yeah. even started speaking. I saw, and Jonas was in front of me, and he What's went that? up for the wrong name as well. So. Do you want to join? Oh, sorry. I am going around. <laughs> I'm here for my interview. Hi, we're ready. Amazing. We're oh, in our close-up. Sweet, sweet. There, really we there we go. Six out of ten graduation process. Yeah, we do, we do, we do. We do. We do. What are the questions? What's your favorite memory? Favorite um, memory is the master asking Steve-O to speak after every single dinner. <laughs> What did you guys think of the ceremony? Were you overwhelmed as well? I did feel I really scared. emotional. Oh, I was, yeah, I was tearing up and everything. Was, was when I saw people I knew bowing, I was like, they were so young, I was a yeah. <laughs> I'm just going around asking people how they found everything, you know, how are you guys yeah. feeling? Sad, great. nostalgic. Nostalgic, yeah. yeah. I, I, we nearly cried this morning when we were getting ready. I put the gown on, and I put the hood on, and I was like, tears just happened for no reason. My sister FaceTimed me earlier, and I was... Yeah. yeah, I was getting the bus yesterday past Sidge. I remember my old self pulling up late to lectures. Mm. I felt really sad, sadly nostalgic. Yeah. Seeing everyone dressed up like this, I remembered matriculation as well, like I our know. first day. At but that, was, that was worse than this because we just didn't really know anyone. Whereas yeah. now it's just all the people who we like. What are you guys going to miss most from yeah. you? The, the pe everyone being together yeah. and the city itself. Everyone being in all. <laughs> Coming buildings. back makes me realise how lovely this place is. Mm. For sure. Sweet, thanks guys. Yeah. Thanks Jimmy. What are your thoughts after that ceremony? How do you feel? It's crazy to be able to finish. Feeling really great right now, on top of the world. No more Mr. Brightside. So. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm glad to, to say it's over. We made it. We made it, man. It is crazy, man. We actually yeah. survived such a... It's been hard. It was yeah. a hard for years, wasn't it? We survived. That's literally the word, survival. <laughs> but um, I feel like now you've done this, what can we not do? So, excited for the next chapter. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Okay, so I may have forgotten to bring an actual shirt because everything apart from the blaze and the trousers was rented by the place. So I had to give that back after the graduation, which means now I look like an idiot because I don't have a f***ing shirt. So here we go, <laughs> shit happens. But if you're ever in the same situation, bring backup clothes because yeah, I look like an idiot. <laughs> transition, transition. <laughs> what a weekend. I am super ill. <laughs> because I had too much fun at graduation and you might be able to tell from the sound of my voice but it was all worth it, it was an amazing time this was a long time coming, you know, technically I graduated back in June 2020 but obviously with Covid and everything we weren't able to have the actual in-person ceremony until last week I'm just eating a strepsil at the moment for the, uh, for the old throat had a lot of fun, it was really lovely seeing all my friends again it was the first time seeing everyone sort of together back in Cambridge in a long time and I think it gave us a sense of closure that we didn't get back when we technically graduated last year. Massive shout out to Sir and Jack for helping me film and capture this amazing day. After they left, we had a formal dinner with the parents, the students and all of our teachers and professors as well, which was really nice. There were speeches given by the master of the college and Steve-O, who's a guy of my year. Fun fact, the certificate that I'm holding up in the frame in any pictures taken of me is actually Steve-O's because I didn't bring my own degree certificate because uh, I'm an idiot in case you didn't realise yet after the dinner we just went out to some bars uh, in Cambridge and as you may be able to tell it was a bit of a late one and I'm still paying the price for it today and what made it worse was the next day I actually woke up at like 8 o'clock in the morning 
because I had some friends from other colleges graduating and I really wanted to take some pictures. Events like graduations are my favourite to shoot because I just love capturing like happy faces and emotions in my photos and that's the reason why even on three hours of sleep I was waking up at like eight in the morning the next day to take some photos which I'll show at the end of this video. It was almost a perfect day, you know, I had my friends there, my parents were there, only my sister was not able to come which was quite sad. I still remember going to her graduation ceremony back in 2013 or 2014. Apart from that, it was an amazing weekend. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Now I'm going to take some paracetamol and ibuprofen, hopefully recover, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, before I forget, Tabby, one of my friends, actually posted a TikTok about her graduation experience and it went viral. It got like 100,000 views on TikTok, so I'll put that in at the end of the video as well.